Well, I am at the first water trailhead. I am doing a staple hike, Battleship Mountain. Um, I realized that my video for Battleship is really crappy um, because I was holding the camera in my hand um, and I'm not getting good footage because you got to climb on the rocks. So I have it on my head now. We are going to film the entire climb on the Battleship Rock. So like the last, I don't know, three quarters of a mile or so. Um, but we got about, this is about 11 to 12 miles round trip um, with only about 1900 foot of gain. So I'm gonna jog most of it on the way there. I didn't tighten my water bottle things, they're falling out. Perfect weather, it's 62 degrees, sort of drizzly overcast. You can see these dark clouds, but could get caught in a lot of rain. But uh, I have another video on Battleship. Feel free to check that out. So we finished our first little mini climb, really the only climb until we get to Battleship of the out hike, probably a mile and a half, maybe closer to two miles in. But now we get this smooth cruiser terrain before we drop down into Second Water Canyon. Ah. Still perfect weather. You hit a couple junctions, basically continue straight. This will be to Black Mesa, not Black Top Mesa, although it'll get you there. Black Mesa, and then I think this is Hackberry Spring. I've never checked it out. I might check it out on the way back. I'm curious how big the spring is. So anyway, cruising along here. All right, so we've dropped down into Second Water, following Second Water Canyon here. We aren't too far. It gets very lush and overgrown down here. We got about a half mile till we meet Boulder Canyon. We'll make a right to go up Boulder Canyon. We will have nine crossings of Boulder Canyon. And then we will start our climb up to the Battleship Ridge and then eventually get up onto the yellow Battleship Rock. So I will show you a little bit of Boulder Canyon when I get down there. Yeah, ah, those are prickly. But anyway, this is Second Water Canyon. We're more or less at the bottom of it now. All right, so this in front of you is Boulder Canyon. You reach a junction here, Trail 103. Come down from Second Water, make a right, and then right away, you have your first crossing of Boulder Canyon. Like I said, there are nine total. So that is a good, uh, if this is your first time doing this, you should count out the nine crossings. And after the ninth, a little, you walk a little bit more on the trail and that's where you climb up. So they're generally marked with cairns. Sometimes they're hard to see, but I've done this enough so I know where I'm going. So that was crossing number one. So we got about a mile on Boulder Canyon, nine crossings. All right, so we made our ninth crossing. We've come down. You see this cairn on the left? We gotta gain that ridge up there. So anyway, we have a steep, starting to rain too. Hopefully that doesn't, doesn't start raining too hard and become too treacherous. It shouldn't. But uh, yeah, this is steep, maybe 300 feet up and a couple tenths of a mile and damn, it's starting to rain hard now. <laughs> Probably not ideal. Well, we've made it to the ridge. It is pouring. I am soaked, but I'm gonna keep going here. So hopefully this doesn't, uh, it's not cold enough that I'm gonna get hypothermic. And I'm hopeful this is going to pass. But yeah, it's, it's pouring. My shoes are soaked. So we continue up to the rock that you see there. Once we get to the rock, 
I'm gonna film the whole thing to help you because if you haven't done this, you're gonna wanna see all the moves, where you climb up, where you drop down. You can see the trails just turned into like a creek. Oh. So anyway, I'll check in up at the rock. Hopefully the rain will have stopped. When you hit the rock face, there's a trail around to the left. You see this big saguaro here? You can see that from far away in this big boulder. This is where you get up onto the battleship formation. For reference, it's been exactly one hour since I started. This might be a little treacherous with the wet rock. Normally, this would be easy. All right, not too bad, luckily. But it is, it does make it more treacherous when the rock is wet. So we're just going right up here. That's a little exposed ledge, but there's good depth. Especially when the rock's dry. When it's not dry, you know, be careful. <laughs> so you're just getting right up. This is easy to get up. Ah. For now, we are up on the battleship rock formation. I hope the lens is on that. Try to clear it. So, that is, I don't even know if that's your summit. I think it is. But we have a nice flat stretch for a good, I don't know, quarter mile here. So usually my rule of thumb is from Boulder Canyon to the top of Battleship is about 30 minutes, maybe 25 from the ridge when you pop up on the ridge to the summit. But that is one, if you're a fast hiker, and two, if you know where you're going. If you do this for the first time, you're inevitably gonna get clipped out. You're, there's gonna be some trial and error poking around which way to go up and down. So hopefully, this video will help you with all that. All right, we're gonna start to drop, and then we're gonna have to drop off on the left. There's several different places to drop off. I'm excited to try to do this as efficiently as possible for the video. I always tend to like climb up somewhere wrong like one time trying to shortcut something so we're gonna try not to do that trails right there I just went on the rock <sighs> okay so we're on rock we stepped down some of them and like I said eventually we climb down to the left and I don't know if it's marked or not could be right here could be further along. I think there's multiple places to climb down. As you, if you go to, oh, look at that rainbow. That's awesome. Stare at it a while for the thumbnail. That's awesome. And it stopped raining. So I'm gonna go down right here. Although, admittedly, this could be incorrect. I don't think so. See that, Karen? So this is one of the ways, the first way down. But if you continue, there's more ways down. So again, if you stay on top, eventually you'll hit a cliff edge and like a 20, 30 foot vertical that you can't, you probably could get down if you needed to, but I wouldn't recommend it. That's like hard class five down climbing. So you get on this little trail around the left side here. This rock is all slick. It's not exposed. You would have to run four steps in the wrong direction to fall off the edge. I don't think any of this trail is exposed, but some people will disagree with me there. I think I should have gone low. Yep. Should have stayed low. No worries. Uh, so you can see we're coming around we're off this thing that we would have been on top of, but like 
you know, there's some class 5 looking sections that you could down climb, but it's easier to just go down the way. This is what you would hit. You would be on that top edge and again, you could actually get down that pretty easily, but no need for hard down climbing when you can just easily get down. So we're on this little saddle. We got to get up around to the left and on top of this now, which is easy. So just get up on this little ledge here, step up however you see fit, watch your head on this. You come very close to banging your head on this as you wrap around. And now we head up, not around. So these rocks almost look like someone placed them there, though I don't know how people would place them. So there's gonna be a couple little sections like that. And now a mistake I've made before is I drop down, it looks like there's a trail to the left. You get stuck, you gotta climb up. So again, another little baby you know, class three, maybe four section. So we wanna be up on top here. And you can't see the summit, it's beyond and higher. But if you get down there, you'll need to find a way up later or else backtrack. This looks like there's a cairn here, so this would be a way up if you continue on the left. Actually, that's very easy but I like my way better. So now, <laughs> so this is where I typically get on the rock. Although with the dirt, now that it's rained, it's harder. So you could walk up the dirt, but there I, I typically would walk on either rock. It's just easier for me to walk on rock. You can see the rock will drop you right where you need to be. And then I believe here, we also have to climb up. Um, you could do it here, you could do it here. It's all the same thing. Ah, sun's coming out. This is a little steep here, but the rock is very good. Just lean into it. So you could be down on the dirt and get up. But again, I like to be on rock. So for those of you who don't wanna, or scared of that type of stuff, just find this dirt path and get up. We're gonna have to get up again right here. So, you know, you gotta drop off the rock. And then this is actually somewhat of a tough move right here. I think ideally you get down lower but there's this little foothold here. I'm not very flexible, but I was able to use it to get myself up. So I'm staying high. When in doubt, stay high. You can always find these dirt trails that come up through the rocks, but I prefer to just be high on the rock. So, Here's another one of my, I won't jump it because it's wet. If it weren't wet, I just usually jump across that. I don't want to eat it if I lose traction. Safety first. Plus it was an up jump, so on the way back, I'll jump across that. But that's wet, so I didn't, I thought I would slip. Probably not, but better safe than sorry. I really hope the lens is clear. I just brushed it with my finger again. So now there's actually sort of a trail that winds up. You can see that shrubbery that goes through all the shrubbery for a little bit here. Whoop. So you can see I'm on like a dirt use path. I wonder if anyone's up here. It's a lot of cars in the parking lot, but I'm gonna say no. Hey, 
I swear I heard an animal or something. It's probably mountain lions up here. Let's hope there's not one stalking me. So this sort of stuff when there's a lot of rock, I always say in my videos, even though it's steep, it's not as taxing as if you were just on a really steep, nice trail. Because you have to stop to climb, to think about stuff, to find the way, to use your upper body. So it's like a more fun steepness, but this is steep here. Here's your little narrow section here. If you got a big pack, you might might scrape here. Or if you just have incredibly wide shoulders like me. <laughs> Joking. Watch these cactus, which are all over the place. So there is looking at your summit block, the second one, the further one. So you can see there's still a ways to go. <laughs> Look at this. This is an awesome cairn. I haven't seen this before. That's pretty new. I've probably done this like 12 times, this hike. Sometimes in combination with blacktop mesa, which I don't think I'm gonna do today because you know, there's football on and that takes priority over ultra marathon training, of course. Ah. So we're still up, but you can see this cairn right here. Same thing's gonna happen. If you continue on this, you'll get clipped out. You'll have to come back and find a way down. And this one, there's also, I think, a couple ways down, but I think this is by far the easiest one. Ah. There's a nice little trail on the left here. So that's twice you drop down and around. See this one, this is bigger. You could get down here. This is a much harder down climb than that first one. Taller, more vertical. You're not easily getting down that one unless you're a good climber. It's not worth the risk. This is the part that people uh, think is like super narrow. It's not, it's like, six feet wide and on the left side you wouldn't get hurt and even that side you would just the rock is slick <laughs> normally i'd just run down this but we have slick rock so like if you fell down there you're not getting hurt you're you're falling 15 feet and you're fine so i wouldn't worry too much about that but so here i'm just trying to remember if i go up or drop i don't think it matters here you could drop and then climb or climb right here. You're just close to an edge here on the right. Some of you might not like that. So this is gonna be the main crux move here. So right after you go over that narrow section there and you're up on this rock, look for this black band of rock. This is your entry to the next level. And this is what most would consider like the crux move. This is like a, a short, I guess you could call it class five, maybe class four section. There's good holds. There's a nice, see this ledge where my left foot is? That's super nice. Um, the next hold is not as good, but uh, it's honestly not bad. It's very easy to climb up if you've ever been on rock before or climbing. I mean, that's like the easiest class five you could possibly have. And now, just continue up. Again, slick rock, not ideal here. These shoes are almost ready to be retired. There's really not much traction left. Ah. So, we get a little flat here, and then we're actually gonna drop. And if you see that line out there, I don't know if my hand's in the right place, where you see vegetation, that is your ramp up, and we're gonna wrap around the backside to get up to the summit block. So when you're here flat, 
traverse around to the left, drop up that ramp, and then wrap around to the summit. So honestly, a lot of our work is done. I'll be on the summit in probably 10 minutes, if not less. I don't know, I'm not sure. I think I'm going decent pace. The weather helps and the fact that it's not pouring anymore. Karen, this has gotten better marked over the years for sure. So you can see, don't go up on this. There's sort of a path that's gonna wind around here. Stay on the path on the left. It's a little narrow here. I don't know if this is a cairn or a rockfall. This is, this is slick. I'm probably gonna eat it at some point with the wet rock. Um, I think I already went, I already went too high. So I gotta drop down. I'm going straight across, sort of aim for these cactus, I think. I haven't used that as a landmark before, but now that I'm instructing, it looks good. All right, so here's the second cactus. Here's where we're gonna drop. So if you read beta on this hike, this is referred to as a ball bearing slope when we get down to the dirt. I don't really know what that means. I think it just means steep, um, but I'm not sure. When it's sandy, you definitely have high slip potential if you move down it too quickly. Um, I think I've slipped before going down it. But I think this uh, this water is gonna help toughen things up. Yeah, it's a little better now. It's not a big drop. It's like a 50 foot drop. So we're dropping down the ball bearing slope and we're already down. So that was uh, not very steep at all actually. So we have a minor this is almost to the summit push here. So you wrap around. See this? This is where you got to get up. You probably could get up over there, but this is the route. You see this dead, gnarled tree branch? This is your ticket up to access the ramp. So it provides a nice little step. Ugh, rock's still wet. Not ideal. When this is dry, this is very grippy, very grippy rock. All right, so here's this ramp that I saw from far away that I mentioned the vegetation. This is the ramp you wanna take up. And personally, especially when it's dry dirt, it gets slippy. So I would stay on the rock if I were you. That's what I do. Although it's probably worse now with wet rock. Here's the rock ramp. Get up to a little shoulder here. Right here. So identify this Palo Verde. This is your ticket down. And now the Acatillo is your next, this big Acatillo. That's your next landmark, your next point you wanna identify. So hit the Palo Verde on the shoulder. There is a way to wrap around more gradually. I never do that, so I can't comment on it. Um, I think I partially did it one time, but the rock's not bad. Palavera, or the Acatillo Cactus, the summit's right up there. We're not far. Use this little crack, this little vegetated crack to step up to the next, watch the cactus. Step up, see there's a cairn right there. You're just working your way up this rock. It's very simple, honestly. There's a little path right here, look at this. I'm 
My phone's making noise. I don't know why. Thought I was on airplane mode. Here's the cairn. Just get up through this black, which honestly, whichever way you see fit to get up here is fine. It's not that bad. It's very grippy, steppy rock. Just stepping up, using my hands to help. Another step up. Here's the trail if you bent around. I think you come up right here. So there's a more gradual way, but why not go direct? Dun, dun, dun. This is it. Battleship Summit. I don't know where the official summit is. Let's say right here. There's this other little hump. It's a little lower you can go out to. <sighs> awesome. The lens looks okay. So, Weaver's Needle is shrouded in the clouds. This down here is Labarge Canyon on this well can't see it here on this side whew, that's boulder canyon down there that we so we actually came down right here this is second water and then we walked a mile down boulder canyon before we could climb up and access the battleship ridge so great view of canyon lake out in the distance um so yeah, that was good. Uh, I felt like I was moving good and I wasn't even pushing it. Um, I think my VO2 max has gone up a little bit. My phone is, uh, yeah, my ultra trail starts recording. That was quick. That was only about 21 minutes or so, 22 minutes from where I started filming up. So uh, good time all around. I might check out. So that was only an hour, 21 minutes, hour, 22 minutes all in from the car. So that's good. That's fast pace. For most of you, I would double that. Um, uh, it's beautiful up here, especially without the rain. Perfect weather. So I'm not going to record the rest of the way, but hopefully this helped you get up Battleship Mountain. Um, if I do check out Hackberry Spring and it, it's a cool spring and it's flowing, I will show you that. But otherwise, we got to head back out and go watch some football. Great day to hike. So I took an alternate route on the way back. I took, made a right on the Hackberry. Oh man, I got scratched up quite a bit. I made a right on the Hackberry Mesa Trail. And it's gonna take us down into this canyon. The spring must be down there somewhere and we'll wrap back around, so. But it's a party. There are people everywhere. See, so yeah, we'll have to drop and then presumably maybe regain a little bit on the as we bend back to where we want to go but yes yeah, people everywhere so it's raining again i'm in between i i ended up taking even a longer loop i'm in between these massive rock formations i don't know if i'm in the right place if the trail's more in the wash or what but i'm in this massive wash that runs between these two formations, very big. I mean, not that big, you know, 400 feet high or something. Um, but I am wrapping through here and then I could continue straight or I could bang left. There's a lot of trails back here I've never been on. So that's sort of cool. I have seen some other people, but it feels like I am alone in the middle of nowhere, which is always a cool feeling. So, I'm just not sure where the actual trail is. Like, I think this is just to go check out, get some respite. Oh yeah, look at this alcove campsite. Pretty cool. So I don't know if this is still Hackberry Spring Trail or not, or if it's something else, but I've made a couple turns, looped it longer, um, but we'll bang the next left. And that will start to put me back towards the original location of my car. <laughs>